Okay, I don't know how game crash. There's something else to just talk. So, you want an award? Hop up here. What's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. Are we going somewhere? All right, Lee. It's a simple Hopefully matter. This jock, I guess. We, all of us Good. standing here. Oh, you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. It's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Alta Caldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Solly, are you all sure about this? Does this look like one big jest? Look, I know what this means. I used to wear clan colors, too. But to be an Alta Caldo, I... I don't know if you Just should. Just answer the question. Are you ready? Come on, B. Fuck me, Saul. Say your piece. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. You're your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, dammit. Thanks for everything, B, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo! <laughs> he flabbergasted. I can't say. Easy to gain a Cobra's trust than an Alda Caldo's. Well spoken. So I know how much this means. To you. To me. Thank you. Will not let you down. Don't worry. It's coming off here. What a formality. Keep crushed. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. So bask in found glory. Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. And how's the jack? Not too tight? Are you well or not? Miss this, you know? The camaraderie. I know. I saw it in your heart the first time we met. Probably because I was missing it too. Then. Night City, you're alone. Even in a crowd. But here, it feels like I'm part of something important. So you are where you need to be. Thanks, Ben. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. Need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. You got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe I'll take two more 45s. CNS Dakota seems to be feeling generous today. We you uh, waiting. Mad at me. I once found a dead magpie under the hood of my car. It had been a cold night. The magpie. Looking for warmth, had found the engine. We couldn't get out next morning. Got cooked alive. I still remember the smell. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, B. Remember that. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially. Take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell. And come back to me. Of course! Anything else?
Fuck you. Tell her this might be the end. You got a big dumb face. <laughs> Welcome to reality. I better take this jacket, obviously. I think I might change back to that. I think this is this is just the same as Johnny's jacket. Might go back to this when we go into the the place. As good as I can make it though. Nothing phenomenal really. just above the ground. Not in those conditions. I'll see to the sensors. You keep checking the thrust. Maybe something Relax. is it, it has to fly me. quick and quiet over that construction site tomorrow. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. It's a good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike the rims. I think you swerved a little bit. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? Connell doesn't know how to talk. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. Yeah, I bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. 
You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. So... Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. It's Pan Am and me. If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split word to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? How much longer? Now you're using me. The clan will grab spoils from Akoshi while you do Pan Am a favor by helping me out. Not bad, Saul. You don't even believe that. You think I put the clan at peril for my own gain? What for? You're not the kind of guy to willingly surrender power. And if all is lost tomorrow, who will I govern? Dust and ghosts? You're wrong, B. This isn't about power. That jacket wasn't for nothing, B. You'll understand soon enough what it's like to be part of a whole. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. Okay, all right. Well, I really need his office. Uh, no. I have cumin and chili. Yeah, uh-huh, yes. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little... Tell me. How's life in Night City? You lost, honey? You look a bit weird. What's this ritual about? That kind. Spoken to them. What's going on? Tell you the DPS because I'm in a safe area. Fuck. Okay. Any different this time? If not, I'll go back to the one before and avoid that situation. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in.
Okay, I'll try it again, but... What's this ritual about? Oh, <laughs> that kind. No. No, that one's broken, I think. Yeah, well, sorry guys, I'm going to be sitting next to you. Just tell me, teleport me to the other side of the camp. And then get me stuck in a loop. Over here, B. Take a seat. Thanks. We have this little ritual we engage in. I don't care. I had it just a second ago, I swear. Hey, how go things? What just happened? Still can't quite wrap my head around it. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? What do you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Feels better, doesn't it? Seems so. Blast another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful.
said back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. about tomorrow it's not a matter of nerves not anymore don't you want one uh, why the hell not back during the war before we were first deployed we were trained to keep stress in check do you want to know how how they gave us chem cocktails Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. So, not afraid of anything at this point? If only it was that simple. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Eh, no matter. I'm talking silly now. Come on. All in family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am? We'll see how things look tomorrow once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're together. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? I think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. Buy Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. 
Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. I'm not having a name, guys, because it just break my. But, um. Spare in my tent. What you playing at? Playing at man. Where is she at? I saw the most stars. Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets that could support life. And that's just in our galaxy. So why haven't they made contact? Because they don't need to be Look what the cat dragged in. Ain't the breath of the You could say that. 
The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Dad, I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. Stop! It'll do. But I swear I heard your thoughts rumbling on. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Fire and might. Don't just stand there, have Darn. a seat. So nice here. Mm hmm. Something's gnawing at you, I can tell. Whatever it is, you can tell me. Nothing's gnawing at me. Stop, this is irksome. Pan Am. Have you. I'm so tense, I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? 
you feel responsible for them, then who in the right mind wouldn't? It's not the responsibility I'm worried about. I'm just looking at this with a cool head. Saul has made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. But only I know what I'm good at and at what I stink. I'm not a miracle worker, V. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... I'm sorry to have dragged you into this. I'm sorry. V, stop. You set me and your family, and how do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. It wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. Uh, you're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? Not as much as I'm afraid for you. Come here. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. I could sit here with you all night. I think I'd like that. You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. It best not keep them waiting. Thanks for Nope. If this goes to shit, we need to break camp in a rush. We are prepared to do that too. Looks like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? The tension? It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You want to see this? Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Besides, I wouldn't have slept a wink for a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels. Which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. 
This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Construction site's walled in. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks.
Everybody reading loud and clear? I've got us on a group channel. Coming to you live from the Badlands. This is your home. Daddy. All right, all right. Did you fire up that drone? The little bird is humming away. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Turn, Bobby. Do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Got speed. And M, did you check if all systems are operational? Check it. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. Oh, all systems are offline. Can we fix it? Right the hell now. Shit! Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones, you deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the car! Raise yourself! Got the power side. You got no. it? Can you put it out? Get the fuck out of the Crazy people, where are you? I'm out here by the transmitter. What's the hold up? much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there. That's a mistake. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damaged. So many things this already. We can do this. I am with you!
go right through the gate, me. Porin! B, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. There anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrap. You get out. Help our folks. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Brace yourself! Copy that. There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the Cirque from there. That's a mistake you'll regret. Got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. All right, we're firing up the Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. We've got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking military. 